Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our winter band concert. This is going to feature the sixth grade band as well as the combined seventh and eighth grade. For those of you, this is your first band concert. Uh, I want to take care of a few thank yous up front so I don't forget. Uh, I want to thank our uh, Ingemar Middle School Art Department, and that's Mrs. Slowick and Mrs. Miller and all the art students for the wonderful art uh, that's displayed in our foyer. If you didn't get a chance to look at it, please take a few minutes on your way out the door to look at what the students are doing. It's really some amazing work with the masks and the drawings that, that I was looking at earlier today. Um, I also want to thank a colleague of mine, and that is Mrs. Davis. She's the course teacher. We combined earlier this year for a combined number with uh, the choir, which is very unusual for middle school. And uh, it was really great getting a chance to work with her and letting the students collaborate on Veterans Day. Uh, I also want to make a, a thank you to Mr. Zerbach, who's taken over the stage crew, and also the people behind the scenes in the booth and also back here, making sure everything runs smoothly. Our opening number is called Toboggan Run, and the composer puts in his notes that he's really trying to capture a little element of his youth when he was sled riding or going down a hill on a toboggan. And he wants this to represent the perfect run with a, a really secure start, gradually accelerating to the end, and coming to a very safe landing when they do get to the end. This is Toboggan Run. But if you look in the program of how everybody's divided up, it's really pretty good instrumentation for 40. And I'm looking forward to maybe even improving that instrumentation in the second half of the year. Um, I'm going to be talking to the saxophone players, and I'm going to be looking for maybe two people to play tenor sax, hopefully one person to play baritone sax. I'm also going to be looking for maybe a couple tuba players. Uh, and that can almost come from any section. Uh, we don't start tuba players in the elementary because of, uh, it's a little bit of a large instrument at that point, but also the foundation can be built in other ways without using that larger instrument. 
So if your child has an interest in that, have them come and see me and talk to me about that, and we'll see if that's a, a good fit for them. The next selection uh, is entitled Hanukkah is Here. Uh, and this, this particular piece gives some isolation to the students. As sixth graders, they're, they've been used to, in fourth and fifth grade, doing rhythms that move together in unison. Uh, and now we're going to let smaller groups play within the context of the piece. And it's going to feature our flutes and clarinets with two percussionists in the beginning. And then we're going to add some more people in the in, as we go along. Uh, the percussion parts are actually quite challenging for this age, so I want you to listen to the percussion when they come in as a total unit. Then we're going to display the control that our alto saxes have in the middle, and then come to a conclusion of the Hanukkah is here. Christmas or Hanukkah season, a gift for music. Um, there's a lesson book that I've used probably, I think, coming up on my entire teaching career, 
that I really like, and they keep coming out with new things, and I have a few props, so let me get them. representatives, they can guide you, okay, my child's in sixth grade or my child's in eighth grade, and they'll help you as far as the ability level. Some other things, maybe you want a box of reeds to put in a stocking, maybe a, a new mouthpiece or a ligature, a music stand, private lessons would be a nice gift. Or if you want to go the whole ball of wax, a new, a new instrument, or maybe just upgrading an instrument. We just had a situation here recently where someone in, in the group was playing uh, an instrument and it was actually hindering the progress. Uh, and I hate to point out, but there's good places to buy an instrument and there's not so good places to buy an instrument. And I encourage you to support the music stores because they're, gonna, they're going to be representing good quality instruments and you want them to have the most success possible. Uh, you wouldn't buy, I don't know, you wouldn't buy something uh, you would normally buy in a grocery store from s somewhere else. When you buy from a music store, they're going to stand behind that product. They're gonna be able to repair that product too. If you have a question on an instrument, please don't hesitate to email. If you had a link of, hey, could you look at this instrument? I'd be more than happy to point you in the right direction. I want to see you get your money's worth, and I also want them to play an instrument they have a chance to succeed on. And I'm here to help you, so reach out and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. The next piece of music is from one of my favorite animated shows. I had this plan from a year ago when I went to my niece's band concert, and the band played this. And I didn't know it was out there, and I heard it, and I went, I gotta have this. I love this piece. It's just a beautiful piece of music. Um, coincidentally, it's from the movie that's just been released. Didn't plan it that way at all, just worked out that way. This is from The Grinch Who Stole Christmas, and this is the piece entitled Welcome Christmas.
thank you very much. The sixth grade has one more piece to do. Uh, but let me say to them, as they're getting ready for this last piece, I, re I really appreciate all your hard work this year. I think you've made amazing progress in three and a half months when you were coming from three different elementary schools just in this district and then some people coming in from other elementary schools you've been working hard and boy it really shows it really shows it makes me excited for what the possibilities are for the spring concert so thank you for your hard work Folks, I encourage you to st stick around. If you have a child that's on stage for the seventh and eighth grade, we're gonna be done by eight o'clock. And I encourage you to hear what an 80-piece concert band sounds like. They're gonna be headed in that direction. And they have five selections, and I think you'll be really impressed with the way they play as well. And we'll have you out here right about eight o'clock, so you won't miss anything at, at home, or if you're going out somewhere, there's plenty of time. This last piece is written by, or arranged by, Eric Osterling, and he is a staple in middle school band music. Uh, he just knew how to write. Unfortunately, he's no longer with us, but he knew how to write for a band and to make them sound good. It's also probably one of their most difficult pieces. We're gonna change tempos two times. You're gonna hear some really intricate snare part. And also our clarinets are featured in the center with just the low brass accompanying. Christmas Trilogy is Deck the Halls, Way in a Manger, and Joy to the World.